Hi there guys, Comrade here with iSkySoft Video Editor for Macintosh. And today we're going to be showing you how to add transitions to your videos to create a sense of story and narrative throughout. So just for the purpose of showing you, um, I will drag and drop a selection of videos into the software just by dragging and dropping them straight on the import media square. When you're on the square, it will outline itself in green, which is awesome, because then you know that it's going to be dropped in the correct place and not some other place that you haven't thought of. So, six, seven, seven, seven. That's eight of eight done, and I'm going to hit full screen there. And just uh, because they're already, all of them are selected, I'm going to drag them down and pop them onto my timeline. So now that they're in order, and if I just play through, we've got some chaps in a boat in Indonesia. Um, a picture time lapse that I took. Again, all of this is in Raja Ampat in Indonesia. And some stuff here. Let's have a look. And then more boats here. That's going to keep going through. Chap jumping off the boat. And then we cut to an underwater scene from the same area. A second underwater scene from this area with some really nice of those, those things that grow on the rocks. Don't know what they're called. And then a bit of a reaction shot as well on whether or not it was good. And the consensus was that yes, it was good. And then again, just some boats. So what I'm gonna be doing, um, what we have here, if I delete this one, although this could be used as kind of a wrap-up, if you like, is a little bit of a narrative. So we went to a place by boat. Um, this is more of the journey as it goes. You can see the boat with the, the other people on there going past. And then introduction to the area. Some of the things we did in the area, kind of motor around, jump in, have a bit of a swim, have a look underwater, went underwater, came back up, and then generally had a pleasant time. So in a very basic sense, that is a narrative, and narratives are often more useful if you can transition between things. So uh, with, let's go for basic, uh, I'm just gonna put a dissolve onto the shots with the boats. You can see that it's just gonna dissolve between the two. You could fade to black, you could flash to white, but in this case, uh, a nice simple dissolve works very well. What I'm gonna do though uh, for the change of scene is use an array slide. Let's have a look at that. It kind of wipes across in a sort of Star Wars type way. Uh, it's a transition that's been around for years, but it was made famous by Star Wars. And I've used that greater uh, sense of transition to just um, differentiate between the different sites. I could also use, typically use, uh, I use a fade here, as we're not actually changing the scene, but we are relocating within the scene. So I fade to black, and suddenly we're underwater. And then I'm gonna be using a dissolve on this one. Can keep that relatively long as it uh, gives it more of a montage feel. And again, I'm going to pop in a fade to black to kind of clear the palette of the underwater shots and then cut to my reaction shot here. And just for the first one, I'm going to use a fade as well as we're changing the setting within the location. None of this is, is gospel, it's just my way of looking at it. Uh, but generally speaking, when you're working within a scene, you just use transitions that will enable you to um, kind of move without too many scenes from one shot to the next. You can also just use straight jump cuts to do that, it's very effective, uh, especially when you're moving to just another angle. You don't want to dissolve between different angles of the same, the same footage, so it's a little bit jarring. Um, okay, so we wipe there, 
and then we're going to dissolve to another shot. Uh, we're jumping forwards in time slightly. Um, and then we're going to fade away from here. The guy's jumping in, we're fading, and then suddenly he's underwater. And we dissolve between one cut to the next, taking it a different time in the same scene. And then fade to black, and we're done with that footage. Okay, so that's a brief guide on how to create transitions and why and where to use them um, with iSkySoft Video Editor for Macintosh. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments and uh, we'll speak to you next time. Thanks very much for watching. Why are you